Hello everyone, my name is Logan Mansion of Logan Mansion Games, and I'm pleased to welcome you all to a game called Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Tactical Espionage Operation. Now yes, this is actually a prequel game to Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Now, I would like to go with the missions, you know, reset a new one, but I'm going to go over the backstories first because I think this is important. For us, there is no victory, Snake. There lived a man who was a legend among mercenaries, a man who put together a formidable unit of soldiers of fortune long before the adver advent of private military companies that dared to call itself a nation. Damn. A man who, with his nation at his back, made an enemy of modern capitalist society and the world. This is his story. We're not, we're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business, Miller. Known by code names such as Snake and later Big Boss, he proved himself as an agent of US Special Forces Unit Fox, but a certain incident spur spurred spurred him to part ways with the military and he is said to have rem roamed the world's war zones as a gun for hire. In 1974, Snake and his partner Kazu Kazuhira Miller were running a small mercenary outfit in Colombia when they were visited by a man claiming to be a professor from Costa Rica's University for Peace. According to this professor, there had been several incidents involving a mysterious armed group in Costa Rica, a country without a military of its own. The professor assaulted... Hold on. Hold on. The professor was accompanied by one of his students, a girl by the name of Paz, who had been abducted and assaulted by this group. The professor and Paz offered to hire Snake to drive the group out of Costa Rica. However, Snake saw through their deception in an instant. In an instant. Yeah, I did kind of get like a little wording there mixed up. But whatever. Um, moving on. My name is Paz, and I will do anything to protect my name, Paz. The professor is was actually a KGB agent, and the armed group in question, backed by the CIA, and the armed group in question, backed by the CIA. The Cold War was no stranger to such overseas clan clan dis clan planned destine operations between U.S. and Soviet agents, but the CIA's motives were a mystery. Paz had escaped from one of the CIA's groups, CIA group's facilities with a cassette tape on it. Cassette tape. On it was the voice of the woman known as the mother of special forces, the boss, with a popular song made recently. Oh wait, hold on. Song from 1973 playing in the background. It was reasonable to conclude that the recording was made recently. Snake was stunned. The boss was supposed to be dead. That what was she doing in Costa Rica? Oh yeah, the boss is actually the final boss at the end of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. 
by the way, the one with Naked Snake as the main character, that was kind of inspired by a James Bond movie a little bit. Which, you know, is interesting because Snake doesn't really care for James Bond. I'm not really a fan either. I'll do it for the girl. More pause. Snake. The boss was Snake's mentor and only and the only woman he ever loved. For ten years prior, Snake was forced to take the, the boss's life as part of a mission, a bitter memory that still haunted him, despite realizing that she simply could not have survived. Snake was unable to turn the professor down, telling himself he was intervening in a desperate for a defenseless country. Dentorant for a dis defenseless country, as well as to honor the virtue of Paz's name, Peace. Snake departed for Costa Rica. Once there, he ran into a unit of the Sedan Sandian the Nation Liberation Front that had fled Nicaragua after rising up against the pro-American Samoa regime. These rebels had become targets for the CIA group who killed their command... commandante and left the unit in shambles. I'm, I apologize if I'm pronouncing some of these words wrong. Everyone treats me like a child. I couldn't stand it anymore. Chico. Snake rescued the Sandy... Sandin... Istens... And invent... Invite... In, invited them back to Mother base in the new offshore base of operations provided to them by the KGB. The fallen commandante, commandants of children Amanda and Chico saw something of their hero Che Guevara in Snake and grew to idolize him. This triggered a rapid expansion of Snake's forces. However, he was still no closer to discovering what the CIA was really up to in course Costa Rica. Oh yeah, because in um, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, um, a lot of people said that um, Snake looked like um, Ernesto Che Guevara. I believe in peace through nuclear defense determinants. Deterrence. Huey. Snake then encountered Huey in a wheelchair bounced a wheelchair bound scientist being forced to work for the CIA. Huey revealed the CIA's terrifying plot. They were developing a system by which following radar destruction of an enemy nuclear launch, an AI would analyze all available data, or data, you know, it could be either one, available data, uh, and automatically execute a retaliatory, retaliatory nuclear strike at appropriate targets, although designed to increase the power of nuclear deterrence. Cold Man, the CIA's Central American Station Chief, planned to actually launch a nuclear... a nuke to demonstrate the effectiveness of automated retaliation. This demonstration was only five days away. Snake rushed to the development lab to stop their AI from being completed. You've left everything behind. Your country, your identity, your past, and ideals. But there's still one thing you haven't let go of, Miller. Upon infiltrating the lab, Snake was greeted by the voice of the tape. 
that same voice of his lost mentor, but this was in fact the voice of the retaliatory systems AI. Its developer, Dr. Strangelove, had selected the boss, so the so-called greatest soldier who ever lived as the AI's intellectual model. Oh. However, scrumbling to succumbing into personal obsession, strange love had dis deviated it from the research's original purpose. Not only had she reported the boss's voice, re reduced the boss's voice, she was on the verge of bringing her psyche back to life in AI form, driven by a bizarre kind of love. Well, her name is Strange Love, so I think it does kind of make sense there. Bizarre lo kind of love. It would make sense to put a strange kind of love. Anyway, what if the boss could truly revive could truly be revived in every detail, if only in AI form, in AI form. Snake hesitated as Strange Love's idea touched his sense of loss. This guard, his guard down, Snake was in immediately captured. The boss AI was completed and Peace Walker, the nuclear equipped walking battle tank housing this retaliatory AI system when activated. Just had to, um, a drink of water there before continuing reading. Uh, I was made to fight. I am a god. I was made to fight. I am a gun. Snake. Snake fought in vain as Peace Walker prepared to fire the nuke, but in the face of catastrophe, it was ultimately a machine that saved mankind from nuclear annihilation. The boss, AI Stank, sank Peace Walker to the bottom of Lake Nicaragua, stopping the launch. With the crisis behind him, Snake took advantage of his recent mobilization to continue Mother Base's expansion indefinitely. Snake understood the AI had acted to save the world, but that did not change the fact that this system, based on the boss's mind, had chosen at last to lay down its weapon as a weapon its weapon as a weapon himself. Snake felt the act to be re a rejection of his life. Undetermined... Un undetermined... 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 Snake and Miller invented Doc invited doctors, Huey and Strangelove, to Mother Base to develop nuclear metal gear Zeke. A bi... bi... a bipedal weapon they eventually equipped with a nuclear warhead, suddenly making their unit a nuclear power. This place will no longer be my heaven, Paz. Or Paz, whatever. Meanwhile, Mother Base took in Paz, already an orphan, but now left without their, without even her KGB benefactor following the end of the crisis. However, this all... This all engineered in intelligence agency known as Cypher. Oh god, Cypher. Yeah, those people. Under Cypher orders, under Cypher's orders, Paz got close to Amanda, Chico, and the others while exploring more and more of the base, secretly plotting to hijack Zeke, her 
objective was to use the weapon as a bargain chip to force Snake into becoming the military arm for Cypher. Paws accept it. Pauses accept. Pause's attempt, I don't know, I had a hard time feeling that. Pause's attempt failed when Snake defeated Zeke, and she was thrown beneath the waters of the Caribbean. It was only then Snake learned Chico had fallen in love with her. A diary she kept while on the base was discovered several days later. In reveal, it, it revealed a young girl torn between serving Cypher and following her heart. <clears throat> this is Chico. Cypher's holding me on a U.S. military base in Cuba, Chico. Perhaps due to Paz re revealing the existence of Snake's nuclear nuke to Cypher, the International Atomic Energy Agency con contracted Mother Base to request that it agreed to a nuclear inspection. If word got out that Snake's unit had a nuclear weapon, it would face severe criticism around the world. But Huey acted on his own, informed Aia, I A E A. I'll just say that that mother base would allow the inspection. His reasoning was that long as they kept Zeke and its nuke hidden from the inspectors, they could demonstrate the international community that they were not a threat. The operation to call up the inspection having expired. Snake and his men reluct reloosed reluctantly got preparations underway. Meanwhile, Amanda deployed to Cuba to assist the San Sandin the as uh, learned that Paz survived the timing could not have been worse. Suspecting her of turning her back on the organization, Cypher had captured Paz and was interrogating her at a U.S. military base on the southern tip of Cuba. Chico learned of this and set out to save Paz by himself. It was not long before a radio message from Chico reached Mother Base saying he too had been captured. I know it hurts right now, but it will all be over soon, Paz. With an idea as to Cypher's true identity, Snake could not allow what Chico and Paz knew to fall into their hands. Therefore, if he could rescue Paz, he might be able to get information from her that would help him fight back against Cypher. On the eve of the nuclear inspection, Snake made the decision to leave for Cuba. So yeah, I guess he's going to Cuba to rescue his ba to rescue uh, his comrades from Cypher, which are being holed in a um, U.S. military base in um, Cuba. And I don't think it's Guantanamo Bay. Hey everyone, I'm back. So yeah, this word right here, um, Sandinista is, I think I'm pronouncing that right. The Sandinistas.
Okay, and yeah, I, I know that I was, you know, I know as of now I was just reading the backstory stuff, but I feel as though it might be important while going into the story. I will start a new story, you know, I'm just gonna, but as of now, I was just reading the data. So, um, that was Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, in, but not as much so far, but I, I'm just going to end the video right here, but if you liked it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, but as always, thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Bye, everyone.